In order to decarbonise, the future market will need to incorporate green energy on a huge scale. The challenge is how we manage this. Store Electric considers storage the missing link. Its plans to develop geological long-duration energy storage, or LDES, strives to offer a game-changing factor in enabling the energy revolution. How do we future-proof our energy needs? Fossil fuels are dwindling, and as societies switch to renewables, a new question is emerging regarding energy storage. Store Electric wants to provide the answer to that very question. Their unique technology uses renewable energy when it's abundant to compress air or to generate green hydrogen, storing the resulting energy in underground caverns at huge scales for days or weeks. Storing excess renewable energy reduces our reliance on fossil fuels and avoids curtailment fees. These are charges paid to renewable producers when their energy can't be used, which are then reflected in our bills. It's very difficult to get your head around this notion of curtailment. Really, what you understand, it's, it's a lost opportunity and the cost that goes with that lost opportunity is huge and escalating. Because once that wind is passed, and you don't produce electricity, you can never get it back. Store Electric are proposing to take advantage of salt caverns that already exist across the UK to store energy which can help support a decarbonised grid. What if we release some of that compressed air and pass it through a turbine to run a generator to produce green electricity instead of running the gas turbine on methane? Alternatively, we release some of the hydrogen and pass that through a hydrogen-capable gas turbine and produce almost green electricity. There is a small amount of emissions when you burn hydrogen, but dramatically less than if you burn in natural gas. Only a handful of compressed air energy storage facilities exist worldwide, and the northeast of the UK boasts one of only a few caverns to date which have stored pure hydrogen. There's probably about two or three hundred salt caverns in the UK that have been used for storing nitrogen or natural gas. The great thing is that we can repurpose those for compressed air energy storage, so we store air underground, but we can also repurpose those for hydrogen. And we can do that now. So the big advantage with our technologies is that they're not just available today, but they're also hydrogen ready, so they're ready for the future. Store Electric's technology aims to provide hundreds of times more capacity than storing electricity by battery. The reason we can store large amounts of energy underground for long durations is because geological cavities, or salt cavities, are very large in size. They're large in size to the extent that you could probably put the Eiffel Tower into one of these cavities. So that's a really important part of resolving the problem and the size of the problem with the right size of solution. There are also more than 70 countries worldwide who also have the right type of geology for similar cavern-type storage approaches. And for Store Electric copywriter Eden Kane, Helping to provide clean solutions for fighting climate change is a cause she has been passionate about since she was a child. I think my generation especially was raised on the, to fight climate change you do reduce, reuse, recycle. Um, and I think energy storage is the embodiment of that in the energy sector. You know, it is the preventer of energy waste. And I just think that is so implicit to a green future. Carbon capture storage expert Professor Stuart Hazeldine is also a geotechnical advisor based right here in Edinburgh and he believes that businesses like Store Electric and Academia can work together to help save our planet before it's too late. The proposition in 2024 is that for each household we're costing about £40 a year in wasted energy. In about two or three years time that will be about £120 a household in wasted energy. By 2030, it'll be about £150 or more of wasted energy. Professor Hazeldine acknowledges that this is the time for Store Electric's technology and innovative approach as the UK moves away from fossil fuels. By developing storage systems like the propositions from Store Electric, we can use that wasted energy and make hydrogen to store as hydrogen, or we can use that energy to power compressors and put compressed air into caverns, and either of those systems will store energy which we can use the next day or the next week. Storing energy for this length of time can provide energy security and grid stability, and support the transition to a greener future away from fossil fuels. 
Without energy storage, you cannot expand as far as we'd like totally renewable energy, and we still rely on the use, particularly of gas, as a means of load balancing. But these long duration energy storage systems can replace that gas-fired load balancing demand.